We've just gotten our hands on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. What does Samsung's top tier smartphone bring to the table this year? I'm Will for GSM Marina, and let's find out together. The S24 Ultra has a familiar looking design, with the flat back, squared off corners, and separate rings for each camera. The phone has a smooth, satin-like finish. The main change is the frame, which is now made of titanium, like we saw on the latest iPhone Pro series. Just as last year's model, the S24 Ultra has a 6.8-inch QHD AMOLED screen, but all of the S24 models have LTPO tech for a more adaptive refresh rate. Their 120Hz refresh rate can dial down all the way to 24Hz or even 1Hz, depending on the content, to save energy. What you might have already noticed is that the display of the S24 Ultra is flat, not curved. Plus, it has even slimmer bezels, and Samsung claims the display is 40% brighter. The screen is also protected by a new glass called Corning Gorilla Armor. This glass is supposed to be up to four times tougher against scratches and impact, and provides 75% reduced glare for even better visibility. Of course, the S24 Ultra has full stylus support, as before, and the stylus tucks away into the phone. The phone has a 5,000 mAh battery, like last year, and the 45 watt charging and wireless charging support haven't changed. As far as the chipset goes, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will universally use the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. No Exynos chip here, like you might get on the other S24 models. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is 2024's new Android flagship chipset, and it provides better overall performance, especially when it comes to ray tracing for games. Plus, the S24 Ultra has a much larger vapor chamber than last year, for better passive cooling and improved thermal management during those long gaming sessions. The chipset also brings advanced support for AI, used for better image processing, as well as other AI-based features. These features are integrated within Samsung's new software suite, One UI 6.1, and they're available across the S24 lineup. One exciting feature is real-time, two-way translation of calls within the native phone app, with support for 13 languages at launch. And for a face-to-face -face conversation, the phone can also perform live translation of voices, and it can live translate text as well. Like on the Google Pixels, you can transcribe a conversation into text with speaker labels, and the AI can then summarize that into notes for you. AI has also made its way into the Samsung keyboard. Here you can access a translator as well as chat assist, where the AI can give you suggestions to rephrase your words. When you're in the car, the Galaxy AI can summarize messages you received and also suggest appropriate answers based on context. Circle to search with Google is neat. You can circle or tap an image, video, or text for an on-the-fly Google search. Quick Share allows you to send info between any Android device and Windows PC. And the photo editor has gotten some new tricks. Edit suggestions will give you recommendations on how to edit your photo for a nice result. Reflection removal uses AI to remove annoying reflections from your photos. And within a photo, you can click on and move objects, and even resize them for the desired effect. Now let's move on to the S24 Ultra's cameras. Like last year, there's a 200 megapixel main cam, a 10 megapixel 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam. But now, instead of the 10x telephoto, there's a new 50 megapixel 5x zoom. Samsung calls this setup a quad telesystem, meaning you'd get optical level quality results at 2x, 3x, 5x, and 10x. The 5x telephoto in particular uses AI and allegedly some sort of an adaptive pixel sensor to get the same 10x zoom quality as on the S23 Ultra. This telephoto cam is also supposed to be better for nighttime stills and videos. The pixels are 60% larger, so they can absorb more light. Plus, there's two times wider OIS angle correction for better stability. Speaking of videos, there's the option for instant slow-mo, where AI converts your regular footage into slow motion by producing the intermediate frames. But also this year, you can record in slow-mo from the get-go in 4K at 120fps. And finally, on the S24 generation, you can get a Super HDR preview on the viewfinder, as well as the gallery and supported third-party apps, aiming to provide more natural, brighter highlights. So there you have it guys, the Galaxy S24 Ultra should be more durable, and some people may prefer the flat screen. We'll have to see how the camera quality has changed, and of course you have all of those AI features to play with. Let us know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.